initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. You'll see. Try that one. Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter? No, I... I never deserved her. Not for one second. I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. The thing about happiness is... is you only know you had it. Let's keep looking. It's gone. I'll connect you to the next intact I mean, you, memory. you may think to yourself that you're happy, but... Uh, you don't really believe it. You focus on that... petty... How did you think this was gonna end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck I with you? I found another memory to try. I'll connect you. Mind if we uh, sit down? Suit yourself. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. Mr. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, the first synths weren't all that impressive. I'm good, but I finally ended up in the Commonwealth. A kind of... You heard all sorts of rumors about the There's Institute. One of these has got but to I tell figured us something. they were just a convenient boogeyman for anything bad that uh, ever happened. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Cryogenic stasis. I was now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. If they needed... Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving her alive. I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I, I haven't done it, but, uh, I never liked to. But it was better this way. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory, so... Good Wasn't news, my I idea think? to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But... It was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid. Like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. Oh boy. Piper has really done it this time. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Piper. Mayor. 
Wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects. Vault computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully... Just... Solve. Find it. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. The new breed of synths could easily pass as human. Some of them did. But the coursers, they weren't built to blend in. They were killing machines, pure and simple. Smarter, stronger, and faster than almost any real human. I'm just glad they were always on my side. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. X688. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Bye. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Slow movements, okay? I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? I'm okay, Doctor. Thank you. That's good. But I want you to keep monitoring yourself. We have to be sure there's no long-term damage. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? We got what we needed. The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. Yes. Their greatest secret has finally been revealed. But that only leads to more questions. How does it work? Where do we go next? That scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil. We need to find him. You're right. A rogue Institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That doesn't make sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. If we need to find Virgil, then I'm going after him. If you're going to go, be prepared. You'll need some way to combat the radiation there. 
It's called the Glowing Sea for a reason. I'll find a way to get through the Reds. Don't worry. Good luck, and be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Nick. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Kellogg. Is that you? What? What are you talking about? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Amari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. I'm gonna head out on my own from here, Nick. Good luck out there. You know where to find me. Hey, everyone. Gather around. Let's kick the breeze back. Shoot. Eat the fat. Broke up with my girl. Uh, hello. Have you been here before? No, first time. Thought so. Some ground rules. This isn't a charity. Clothes are for sale. No mooching. Got it. Good. Now that we understand each other, welcome to Fallon's. Happy to show you everything in stock. I'll take a look. Sure. A paying customer. Finally. <laughs> 